Hey, hello everyone! Again, new day, and for today I'm planning to continue to work on my RV10 build project. So as you remember in my last video, I uh, finished at the point where I riveted almost complete vertical stab while I still had some remaining uh, rivets to put inst instead of clickers. And I was kind of sad about this well some little like little banded metal like those little things which I made like little scratches on the metal which I did during the riveting during my practice and uh, yeah all this time I was debating like what to do just should I order a new skin and unrivet everything and just but after all that thinking I realized that if I'm gonna go that way I'll probably never build the airplane which is right because uh, I'll probably have even more mistakes like that and uh, it's gonna take me lots of time so I just have to go over it uh, learn uh, learn from each mistake see what's bad or good and in reality you know what I'm looking at it now and it's not that bad I will make some close-up pictures later and uh, add it to my video probably too so well I'm gonna continue to work for today well it's just a quick plan to put some maybe a couple dozens of rivets in my uh, vertical stub and uh, well hopefully finally finish it because I have already the rudder waiting for me and all parts sitting on my table and waiting for me so let's take a look how it's gonna go Alright, the long part is completed. Under the long part I meant the one where you have to basically use the rivet gun and you have to go under the skin and you saw, you have to go like what you just saw basically around the area inside and you almost work blindly because you have to just to check with your hand and with the tool how rivet was set. So now remaining part is actually, well, it's like quite fun because I can do that part probably all 100% with the pneumatic squeezer. So it's basically we go all around the area and placing our rivets all around the area. I'll just add some clickers right now just to make sure that I'm fine and everything holds properly but after that I'll start to use my pneumatic squeezer and I'll just go one by one by one by one and put all my rivets all around the area on this side and on opposite side. Well after that I'll recheck instructions again to make sure I didn't miss anything but so far I just checked everything looks so far good and hopefully I will be able to finish all section 6 vertical stabilizer riveting and last page which is 6 6 and steps from 3 to I guess 9 so let's see how it's gonna go
a little bit hard to believe, but it's done. Finally, I'm done with riveting of my first airplane part. Vertical stabilizer. So, well, congratulations to me, right? So my first part, vertical stabilizer, has been fully assembled according to the Vans instructions from basically ground and up. And now I have a fully assembled part, riveted and ready for storage, right. So this part, I will inspect it one more time after I complete, finish recording this video. I will ensure once again that everything is done properly according to instructions. And after that, I will find a nice spot for this part somewhere in this hangar where I can store it while I'm going to be starting and working on the next part which is rudder, right, so now we need a part to add on this side, we need actual rudder and that's going to be my next part. So what I want to say uh, as a conclusion of the first part assembly, I did a mistakes, you were witnesses of my mistakes. Well, but I was able to recover, to understand what I did wrong, how I did wrong, and I'm still probably making some small mistakes, um, which I really worry about because, well, riveting is something I want to make sure and to ensure that I'm doing right, because that's a very, one of the very important parts, right, because it's a structure. Another thing that um, I'm trying to avoid repeating of my mistakes, which I did before. Again, as you witnessed, I did some mistakes with the rivet gun. I, uh, well, I, I banded, I a little bit banded uh, the, the skin, but it's not that visible, but still. So, um, instructions from Vance are good. They written clear, good. There are some minor things like which you probably want to they probably needs to improve like for example that simple thing like when they supply the parts they call rivets but they don't call in which box they are each rivet is located so you have to use your spreadsheet with the list of parts received in the initial uh, tail con kit and to compare one versus another but that's minor right that's really minor I didn't find any mistakes in their instructions so far well probably because there is no mistakes or even if they are I'm not that experienced to be able to find those mistakes right uh, well I'm happy I'm done with that looks like for today that's it because well I don't have much time for today left to work but I'm glad that I will store this part after again inspection one more inspection and I will continue to work on the next part which is a rudder which is actually even more complex part as I read from the assembly instructions so I see you in the next video and we will together start to work on the rudder. Have a good one!